All right, folks, welcome back to Sailing Post Time. So glad you joined us for this week's episode. So we are back in California. If you watched our previous California videos, we did the overnight flight, and we were talking about how brutal it was doing an overnight flight and then working all that first day to get everything dialed in. And I did the exact same thing this time around. I don't know if we didn't learn from our mistakes. I landed this morning. As you can see, I've st already started my provisioning. If you watch our what to pack on an ocean crossing video, you will see all the stuff that we packed in these three bags. We got the sea bag, two duffels, and a backpack, which is what I flew with uh, this night. I also am wearing my adventure hat because we're about to go on an adventure, so looking forward to that. Stay tuned. Also starting to do some provisioning before I pick my mom up at the airport. I've got a, a few hours before she arrives. So I'm trying to do some stuff around here before uh, I go pick her up. So first thing on the list was to stop at Home Depot, which is where I'm at right now. And we picked up the Jackery, which we ordered for pickup so that we have uh, an electric generator for the trip. Also, some jerry cans, which I'll fill up before we go, and I got some water as well. Five gallon uh, jugs of water there in the back. Uh, the car, the rental car is filling up pretty quick um, already, so I don't know what I'm going to do when I pick up mom. I would like to do some shopping and some provisioning before we head to the boat. We have the rental car for two days, so today and tomorrow, then we'll return the rental car finish buttoning up everything on the boat, making sure we're ready to go, and either leave the next day or the day following that. Um, we'll see how our provisioning and shopping and everything goes. Okay, so here we are. We just finished going to Costco. This, how much space we have, and these are the groceries that we have to fit into this amount of space. Let the puzzling begin. Easy day. Well, I'm thinking. We use the one on this side by the bathroom as storage. Right. And I think we're going to be spending most of our time sleeping in that one. Because the Pullman berth, if we're healed over onto this side, you're going to roll right off. Okay. Brutal. Sure is. And then we can go from here to there. And then one of us has got to be on the top of the stairs, and one of us has to be on the ba bottom of the stairs to catch. So do you want to send or receive on this, for the stairs part? Alright, so we just filled up all of our gas cans. We're going to put it in the top off the tanks on the boat and then we'll re refill them up. Um, we also stopped at West Marine to pick up our life raft. It's a six man life raft, which is going to be plenty. And we'll have it for the future when we have more crew and people on board. So that'll be nice. Um, so that's in here as well. And then we also stopped at Target to get a couple extra items pot pans, spatulas, a couple extra food items toilet paper, and some flower seeds. I hope those caps are on well. <laughs> we do. Good night. Have a back seat full of diesel. That'll smell lovely. So we got the last of our provisioning, hopefully. So it's, right now it's 8.20 at night, so we've been running around all day getting all of our provisioning and everything done so that tomorrow we can wrap up all the boat stuff, do any last minute items, try another trip to uh, redo gas and fill up the propane tank. And once we do that, then we'll probably get some miscellaneous items that we needed last minute. 
and then we'll return the rental car. That's hopefully not filled with diesel. <laughs> All right, so it's day two. We're feeling good. <laughs> uh, we're gonna fill up the uh, boat with the gas that we got yesterday, the diesel, and then we also have a couple other errands to run. We're gonna get propane and grab a couple extra items that we realized that we were missing. What does he import? Yeah. Batches. <laughs> Batches. So what does he uh, import? Chips. Oh. What kind of chips? Potato. Oh. Some corn. Hi. Hi. So George, what does Art Van Delay import? Matches. <laughs> Long matches. Oh, all routes and all markers, that's what I should have done. Okay, here's our route. And there's our track. There we go, that looks better. All right, so we're back at the boat. We got the charts all set up and ready to go. So then we went back into town and returned the rental car and took the ferry back to Sausalito. I set up the temporary solar setup that we're gonna use. Um, we'll show you guys that tomorrow. No, I could lay it where we're walking. Okay, try leaning it up. I mean, that's not bad. There's no way that's staying. Well, we would tie it down. And if we're heeled over to one side. So are we going to put one on each side? side? I would think so. And then no matter where the sun is, as long as it's not there or there. Um, hopefully that works. We might have to make a couple adjustments, but we'll see. It's at least a start. Um, I also set up the jack lines so we can harness and clip in. So mom did some food prep. She made taco meat and rice. hamburgers, rice and potatoes so we'll have a couple meals at least for the start ready to go that are easy all right so we're gonna finish up a few things and then we're gonna call it a night and get some rest and hit the trail tomorrow hitting the trail setting off shoving off pushing off starting tomorrow all right good morning everyone today is departure day so we're doing last minute checks oil engine all the lines covers and we'll start it, let it warm up, the engine, turn off all of shore power and get everything ready to go. But we're just doing last checks real quick and then we're gonna shove off this morning, get a good start to the day. It's looking a little cloudy, a little dreary. Starting off cold this morning, but feeling pretty good. Should be good to go. We just left Sausalito and Sausalito is back that way. 
And we are almost to the Golden Gate Bridge, which is right up there. A little foggy, a little cloudy, a little hazy, a little chilly. I can see my breath. <laughs> well, we're off. Let the adventure begin. Let it begin. Here's the solar panels that we set up yesterday. Who knows if they're going to stay. But we'll give it a shot. Far. Our first day has kind of been a bust, unfortunately. As you can see behind me, it's still super hazy and cloudy and pretty cold. We don't have very much wind, just a slight breeze. Um, so the motor's still running. I've made some progress, but not a ton. Wind was kind of going where we wanted to go in the beginning, so it was tough, but it was still super light, so. Not a ton of wind. It's a kind of a bummer start to the trip, but we'll see. It should pick up as we go. Alright, so I'm just about to finish up my first night shift and the first day was pretty rough, uh, pretty rough seas. We didn't have any wind at the beginning, it was cloudy, freezing cold. Uh, we didn't make any solar panel, or like, we didn't get any solar power um, from the solar panels because it was just so cloudy today, so that was kind of a bummer. Um, but this afternoon the winds filled in so we were able to kick off the engine which was nice. Uh, Mom and I were both sick for most of the day so we were just trying to been keeping it low key and getting it done but uh, hopefully our power consumption keeps up. Uh, we'll see if we'll have any solar tomorrow. If not we'll probably have to run the engine again. Let's see if day two is better. Everyone talked about how the first three days are the hardest. Kind of got to get adjusted and get used to everything and in a rhythm. And I even said that myself. I was like, okay, the first couple of days are gonna be the worst. So hopefully this is the worst of it. Hopefully it'll get easier as we go. And the sea state calms down a little bit and we adjust and we'll get there. All right, we'll see you in a while. Day two. You can see it's a cloudy day.
All right, so about to start my suck at night watch. Um, today wasn't bad. Definitely better than yesterday. I think the either the waves kind of settled down a little bit. Probably not. We probably just got adjusted to them a little bit more today. So um, that was definitely better than yesterday. So today also marked the 200 nautical miles sailed, which is way more sailing than I've ever done before. Um, so that was cool. Also last night was my first night shift, like overnight, as far as on a sailboat. So first night watch as well. So yeah, all pretty cool stuff. We're getting there. We're slowly making our way uh, to Hawaii. We've uh, adjusted our course a bit to go a little bit more south than originally planned. Um, we're gonna try to go a little bit further south and hit the trades and we'll see we'll see how that goes. Also we're trying to keep up with the battery as well. So we have the Jackery, but as you can see it's still super cloudy. We haven't seen the sun since we left, so super cloudy, so we're not making any energy with the solar panels and then we've been just running the engine to try to keep up on this on the batteries to charge them for now um, until we can start to get some more sun. Hopefully we start to get some warmer weather and some sun uh, the closer we get. So it's day three and we finally have some sun. So the clouds left and we have some sun which feels nice. Um, also our wind also left with that as well. This morning uh, we had pretty light winds. The sea state calmed down quite a bit which was super nice. Um, but that also meant our wind left so uh, we motored for a little bit this morning. But now it's starting to fill in. We're, what are we at? 4.1. Yeah but what's the knots? 10. We're getting about 10 knots now, so just enough to actually be moving under sail and going about 4 knots, so that's not terrible in the light wind conditions, so that's good. Earlier this morning it was more like 5 knots of wind at most, and we were doing like 1 knot of speed, so pretty slow going, but ran the engine a little bit and now the wind's picked up a little bit so I think the weather calls for light winds today and tomorrow and then we'll see it should start to fill in more after that. Our first thing broke. Is that right? Day three. Day three. Day three on our first uh, problem and more, more of a major problem and first thing broke and that was the autopilot last night. Uh, quit working so I haven't really had time to troubleshoot Sea sickness is feeling a little bit better today, but also don't want to go digging in a hole for to try to figure that out. So we've just been hand steering since last night, and we'll probably do that um, until further notice. <laughs> I was gonna say maybe for the rest. Probably of the Probably for another 14 days. We were also able to start eating today. The first day, we didn't eat anything, did we? No. no. We passed <laughs> We didn't eat anything the first day. We were too seasick, so didn't really eat anything the first day. Then the next day, we had a piece of bread for lunch, and then for dinner, we had another piece of bread with some peanut butter and a half of an apple. And then today was our first time where we could actually eat a little bit, so we had ramen this morning <laughs> and that's about it <laughs> good weight loss program yeah. we had a pot of dolphins escort us out yesterday for a while they were with us for most of the day just jumping around so that was cool we saw a whale a whale yesterday too the day before that we saw 
sea lions, and dolphins and whales. And a bird on my head. Oh yeah, and my mom had a bird land on her head. That little fella. That little fella that was lost. All right, day four, still pretty calm out here. The ocean is almost like glass, but we have no wind, so we're just putzing along. We ran the engine earlier this morning, um, but now we turned it off and we're kind of lightly sailing. How fast are we going? Two knots. We're going about two knots and eight knots of wind. Seven knots of wind. Just putzing along. We're hoping that the wind fills in either tonight or tomorrow. And we can start making some progress. We're trying to average at least uh, 100 nautical miles a day. But so far we've been able to get, right? So far we've been able to achieve for the most part. We're yesterday and today we're falling behind track. but. Hopefully the wind picks up and we can start knocking out those miles. Uh, we also made it through our first Night shift and 24 hours of manual steering without the autopilot. Definitely not ideal, but manageable. We made it through. Anything else to say on that? <laughs> no animals today. Nothing. Yeah. A whole lot of nothing going on. No animals, no wind, flat seas. And, but blue skies. Kind of. Partly cloudy. Solar panels are kind of charging a little bit. It's partly cloudy and the angle of the sun to where we're going isn't ideal. So last night while we were hand steering, uh, I was on watch last night and there was a cargo ship that was not moving. <laughs> How do I describe this? There was a cargo ship that was kind of in front of us that we had kind of caught up to but then our wind died so then we couldn't catch up to it and it was just in the wrong spot it was right where we wanted to go with the very light wind that we had and we couldn't catch up to it to pass it and it wasn't going fast at all it was going like one knot so and we were going one maybe two so it was super frustrating because it was there all night long and we were close to it and we couldn't get around it and couldn't do anything about it So we're past the three day hump. Everyone said that the first three days, especially with seasickness, are the worst. Um, so we're on day number four, so we're feeling a lot better. Um, our eating has gotten better too. We've been eating mostly ramen and chicken. A little bit of chicken that was pre cooked. We had pre cooked rice, pre cooked chicken, mostly ramen and things that are easy. We apples. haven't done any cooking. Yeah, apples we've had. Only thing we've done is boiled some water for the ramen. Sure is delicious. <laughs> and our pickles.
got it. And then she's gone. You're probably not going to hear a word that I'm saying because of the engines running. But this is our first meal, cooking day four. And I'm just going to make some quick quesadillas. Um, I'm going to use the taco meat that I prepared beforehand. And we'll see how she turns out. So we have our first squall on the horizon. Right about there. A little bit over here. So, looks like some rain maybe. We're gonna see where it's going and see if we'll miss some of it, but might be in for some rain tonight. Sun is just about setting and we're still motoring. Alright, so we got another cargo ship right over here, uh, just motoring past, about three nautical miles right past us. It's day five and we're still super light wind, seven knots, about six to seven knots of wind and we've been just slowly sailing. We did a lot of motoring last night. We probably spent six hours motoring yesterday, and then we spent two hours motoring today, and now we're just kind of sitting and crawling along. <laughs> it's going slow. Waiting for the wind to pick up. Wind's supposed to pick up apparently tonight, but we'll see if that happens. So since the autopilot hasn't been working, we haven't been using it because it's just been making that grinding noise. So I'm thinking it's the motor that failed. So I went down into the dark hole, into the abyss to try to disconnect it from the steering mechanism so that it would quit grinding. Because even if it's off, just spinning the wheel, it uh, makes a grinding sound because it's still moving. So uh, I ended up being able to take that off and just tie it off to the side so that now it's a lot quieter when you steer and a lot more smooth. I was gonna say, where are we going? <laughs> <laughs> That's why it seems like it's adjusting. I'm spinning around. I wanted to get a clear picture of that boat. Good night. I didn't see it well enough. I was like, where are we going? Where are we going? Okay, we're gonna try another meal today. This is day five. Um, we are gonna, this is another pre-prepped meal that I did. So it's um, hamburger and some potatoes. So all I have to do is kind of warm it up and then melt some cheese on it. And maybe have an avocado with it. And then we'll have some hamburgers and some potatoes. Okay, so here we go. Meal number two. Looks fantastic.
first big squall. I'm not like <laughs> Why not, buddy? Thank you so much for watching this week's episode make sure you stay tuned next week as we encounter stronger winds and higher seas and critical components start to break we might not even make it to hawaii make sure you subscribe so you don't miss next week's episode give this a thumbs up leave a comment we love hearing from you guys and we'll see you next week